Shalom family, this is Brother Colby. I want to talk to you about something. Uh, have you ever heard the Book of Jubilees? It's a book I recommend you read. Uh, it's a book like a historical account. They kept track of certain days, what happened on this day and that day. So those of y'all who like... Uh, Trying to figure out the calendar, I would start here in the Book of Jubilees. I'll tell you a true story real quick. Uh, my last year working in the machine shop before my, my health got bad, they had this uh, youth pastor. He was a machinist too. And I was telling him about the books, the apographer books, and he's like, I don't want to hear that. You know, that's like adding to the word or that's an abomination or whatever. And he sends me a, uh, a sermon by text message to my phone that this best preacher did the best research and it was so detailed. And he sends it to me and I started listening to it. And this preacher started going into the, the measurements of the Tower of Babel. And I, I just stopped it and I walked to him. I says, you don't want to hear the apographer, but you listen to it and you don't even know it. Because the book of Jubilees is the only book that has the mentions, the measurements of the Tower of Babel. I said, dude's quoting Apographer, and he ain't even telling you his sources. <laughs> That's like a lot of people like them uh, hymns. I love them hymns. There were some of these hymns that were uh, written out of the book of Sirach. That's in the Apographer. And you get a lot of preachers, you don't go breathe that, but they sing it. They just ignorant. They don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'm being in the book of Jubilees, chapter 10. Guys, you should read this. Enoch, Jasher, Jubilees, uh, Sirach is good. Second Ezra is a must, especially in our generation. You should read these books. Okay, uh, I'm going to be talking about how uh, nine-tenths of the evil spirits was taken off the earth. And what we've been dealing with is only a tenth of them. And many people with dreams and Bible prophecies, they're going to be released again. So if you think it's bad now, you haven't seen nothing yet, okay? Okay. So I'm going to start in verse 1 of chapter 10 of the book of Jubilees. I want you to listen to this. In the third week of this Jubilee, the unclean demons began to lead astray the children of the sons of Noah and to make them sin and to destroy them. The sons of Noah came to Noah, their father, and they told him about the demons that were leading astray and blinding and slaying his sons, sons, so his grandchildren. And he prayed before the Lord his God and said, God of the spirits of all flesh, who have shown mercy to me and has spared me and my sons from the waters of the flood and have not caused me to die as you did the sons of perdition, for your grace has been great towards me. And great has it been your mercy to my soul. Let your grace be lifted up to, on my sons and do not let the wicked spirits rule over them or they will destroy them from the earth. But bless me and my sons so that we may increase and multiply and replenish the earth. You know that your watchers, the fathers of these spirits acted in my day and as these spirits which were living imprison them and hold them fast in a place of condemnation and let them not bring destruction on the sons of your servant my god for these are like cancer and are created in order to destroy let them not rule over the spirits of the living for you alone can exercise dominion over them and let them not have power over the sons of the righteous from now and forever and the Lord our God commanded us, these angels, to bind all of them. The chief of the spirits, Mastima, 
came and said to me, Lord, creator, let some of them remain before me and let them listen to my voice and do all that I shall say to them. For if some of them are not left to me, I shall not be able to ex execute the power of my will on the sons of men. For these are for corruption and leading astray before my judgment. For great is the wickedness, wickedness of the sons of men. He said, let one tenth of them remain before him. And let the nine tenths of them descend into the place of condemnation. So they left one tenth of rain on the earth. The rest of them went down to hell. Uh, and according to all his words and all the magnificent evil ones were bound in the place of condemnation. And a tenth part of them was left that they might be subject to the presence of Satan on the earth. So Noah was having trouble. His grandchildren were having trouble. His sons, grandchildren. Guys, we haven't seen nothing yet. These are the return. The devil's building an army. There's going to be hybrid creatures, guys. There, there's these weird things in the woods people have been seeing for hundreds of years. Devil's building an army. And if you can't live for God now, you, you're not going to be able to. So stay close to God. Dig, dig in. Press in. I love you. Okay? Shalom.